Hello everyone. What I want to show you this evening is the TimeWave DSP-9. It's a digital signal processor for the audio output of your rig. These were designed for older rigs that don't have built-in DSP functions uh, in the audio section. Of course, uh, nowadays we have new uh, SDR radios with DSP functions in the IF stages, direct digital sampling of the RF, and also some older rigs also like uh, the TS-2000 had these DSP type functions uh, built into the radio. However, a lot of them I find aren't as good. Uh, I guess the algorithms they use weren't really as good as what TimeWave has done. Of course, this is only one of their many units and it's an older one, but it does do quite a remarkable job. And so tonight what I want to show you is um, listening to W1AW uh, Morse code practice coming in on 7 uh, megahertz. Uh, the band, uh, 40 meter band, is very noisy tonight. So I'll let you hear what it sounds like uh, without any modifications on 7047. Now you can hear it there in the noise, the CW Morse code. Of course, it's very difficult to copy unless uh, you're used to copying code uh, with noise in it. Now, the rig has some nice features. This is a Kenwood TS940, and you can tighten up the filter, narrow down the filter so you're sampling a tighter portion of the bandwidth to get rid of a lot of that noise, and it's pretty clear. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this radio. You can make it out, and it's pretty clear. Um, however, let me just show you the difference, okay? I'm going to turn on the DSP-9 here. And what you want to do is adjust the audio here of your radio so that it doesn't go into the overload, but just below. Okay, and uh, of course with fading conditions you're going to get a little bit of change. Now that I'm going through the time wave, I can also open up the filter a little bit, which will help when the signal fades. Of course you can hear the noise coming up. Okay, now... What I'll do is I'll tell the DSP-9 here that instead of a voice signal, we're doing CW. All right, listen how that cleared up. Now I have the narrow filter pushed in as Y, which tightens it down to a very, very narrow audio bandwidth. And to start, what I usually do is I have these all off, and I hunt around for the signal. And then when I get it to where I like it, I'll hit the medium, see if I can still hear it. If I don't, I'll move the VFO a little bit to adjust the pitch to get it into the DSP-9's audio filter bandwidth. And then I'll, when I finally get it to where I want, I'll hit the narrow. And look how it just cleans that up. Listen to that signal. Now once you have the adjustments just right where the normal light's flashing, do not touch the audio of your rig. What you want to do is use this to adjust the audio coming out of the speaker. And just kick back and uh, listen to nice clean copy in, in the noisiest 40 band conditions. It's truly amazing. I use it all the time. I even use it uh, on 2 meter sideband in the voice mode to uh, clear the noise out of very weak signals and it really does make a huge difference. So there you go. Time Wave DSP-9 the older ones aren't so expensive, you can find them used. If you can get one, if you have an older rig that doesn't have uh, you know, DSP functions in it, I suggest you grab one because it makes a whole world of difference. 7-3 everybody.